Hello everybody, my name is Pites, and welcome back to the uh, Firewatch game. So, we're gonna get right back into it. What do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. If Tom Cruise had a good looking twin, yep. This isn't that hard. I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell it's you old spice. a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Oops. Now you this know. can't be that hard. Oh shoot, my bad. Think of your closet. Open it in your mind. What is inside? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice. Usually. No, I like the whiskey. Well, try now, I guess. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Hey. I have a thick beard. I know it's not easy. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Alright. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They're tired. Steely, yeah. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Mm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing?
Hmm. In mine, the objective was right above my screen the whole time. Never mind. Boards to patch the window, of course. Not gonna use any nails there. I got that window all patched up. So what yep. should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Can't take a seat. Well, that was just an easy day. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yep. Not too bad. Hi, where are you going? Out here. That's nice. Look, um, I you called with it. bad news. I'm recording the video. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I yelled at him, but that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Henry? Henry, wake up. Where's my radio? Oh, it's over here. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. 
Hmm. I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh. Yeah. Henry? Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What? All right, we're, we're skipping some days. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yep. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Uh, please. Is this where I'm gone? So, like, two weeks ago you called yeah. me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yeah. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Ugh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Okay, cool. What are we, two forks? All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64, it's been almost two months. Well, it's been two months. It's been almost two months since we last saw on day nine. Seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? The Flapjack Fire. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> I got it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? No. What's up? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I 
have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Yeah. Um, sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but... Well, geez. They're protecting national uh, forest. I love what, the way fires look, burning on the forest. Ooh, I didn't answer. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. I yeah. Don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Me too. I wish you were too. We could sit oh, that's not what I meant. We could talk. We could have these radios. We could. Um, oh, it's Julia. You know. Oops. What? What could we do? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. Oh, geez, that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Problem bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. I can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what happened? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Uh. What? Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Uh. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Uh, what? Uh oh. What happened, Henry? I. I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. 
It's... it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll... Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... are you sure you saw what... what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer... Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. We should just get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hike through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I'm not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Okay, we... we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Alright, so... Alright, well this episode has gone on for a little bit too long. So I want to thank you dudes so much for watching. If you liked it, punch the like button and the face as well. So I'll show you dudes in the next video. Peace out.